The universe apex represents the evolution of Arthrex total shoulder arthroplasty systems. While maintaining all of the in situ variable adjustment capabilities of the universe too, the apex introduces advanced features important in the treatment of all total shoulder patients. The reduced diaphyseal stem length, rectangular stem body, and removable trunnion optimize stem removal in cases of revisability. The surgeon is encouraged to perform a free hand cut along the margins of the proximal humerus articular surface, maintaining the patient's articular inclination and version. When needed, an intramedullary or extramedullary cutting guide are available in the instrument set. The Universe Apex instrument set contains reamers and brooches designed to prepare the intramedullary canal to match the stem's smaller footprint, minimizing bone removal. The initial brooch has an attachable version guide for proper brooch orientation relative to the osteotomy. Following canal preparation, a proximal humerus protector is placed and attention is turned to glenoid preparation. A pegged and keeled glenoid option is available. The pegged option is demonstrated here. The center of the glenoid is first marked by placing a small defect, followed by positioning the central peg guide and drilling the central peg hole. The appropriately sized glenoid reamer is positioned by placing the reamer peg in the central hole. The glenoid surface is then contoured to support the polyethylene component. The number two glenoid guide is positioned by placing the central peg into the previously drilled hole. A short removable drill bit is used to drill the superior peg hole. It is left in place to stabilize the guide for inferior drilling. The inferior drill bit is then used to prepare the inferior horizontal peg. The pegged glenoid punch finalizes inferior horizontal peg preparation. Trial glenoid components are available to evaluate proper orientation and fit prior to cementing the polyethylene component. The glenoid vault is cleansed and dried followed by cement injection. A pressurizing tool is available for displacing cement throughout the vault. The polyethylene component is then held in place while the cement hardens. Attention is turned back to the humerus for stem implantation. The apex stem has suture holes in the proximal body for soft tissue repair and subscapularis closure. The apex subscapularis repair technique takes advantage of these holes. Two holes are drilled vertically in the biceps groove for passage of the lateral suture limbs. Two number two fiber wire sutures are passed through the lateral holes yielding four suture limbs labeled A through D from superior to inferior. A blue suture is used superiorly and tiger white inferiorly. Four number two fiber wire sutures are passed through the medial holes yielding eight suture limbs labeled one through eight from superior to inferior. Blue and tiger white sutures are alternated from lateral to medial. Limbs A and B are passed through the superior hole from the intramedullary canal out. Similarly, limbs C and D are passed through the inferior hole from the intramedullary canal out. All strands are held out to length on tension as the stem is implanted and impacted with the pointed stem impactor, followed by the angled Morse taper stem impactor, placing the trunnion flush to the osteotomy surface. The inclination, inferior, and version, superior screws are then tightened with the torque driver. Trial heads are available to verify proper head size, head offset, shoulder motion, and stability prior to impacting the actual head component. Suture limbs 1 through 8 are evenly placed through the medial aspect of the subscapularis tendon from superior to inferior. Proper spacing is key to the final repair. The sutures are then tied in the following sequence. 1 to A, 8 to D, 4 to C, 5 to B, 2 to 3, 6 to 7. 
The suture color pattern is such that the first four knots are tied between similar colors and the last two knots are tied between different colors. In addition, the last knot is tensioned and creates dynamic compression of the subscapularis tendon over the lesser tuberosity. The repair is then evaluated by externally rotating the arm with the arm adducted. The degree of external rotation achieved without stressing the repair is noted for post-operative therapy limitations. The wound is irrigated and superficial closure is performed according to the surgeon's protocol.